Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So, now, my son wanted to go to Big Lots, and they have a variety of things, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, so you never know what they have in there, and I found something called Grape Leaves. Have you guys ever heard of that? Um, and it's stuffed with rice. Okay, so... I thought it might be interesting to try. Um, grape leaves. The leaves of the grapevine plant are used in cuisines of a number of cultures. They may be obtained fresh or preserved in jars or cans. The leaves are commonly rolled or stuffed with mixtures of meat and rice to produce doma. I don't know what that is. Found widely in the Mediterranean, Balkans, and Middle East. Hold up. What, what is Doma? Let's see what Doma is. Doma is a family of stuffed dishes from Ottoman cuisine. It can be served warm or cold. Okay. Some types of Doma are made with whole vegetables, fruit, offal, offal or seafood. While others are made by wrapping leaves. Most commonly grape or cabbage leaves around the filling. Okay, so I don't know what this O F F A L awful means. Oh, I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But anyways, this says it's a product of Bulgaria, and it has a website www.konex/tiva.com. It is 120 calories for three pieces. The ingredients are rice, grape leaves, onion, sunflower oil. There go that oil again. Salt, citric acid, mint, black pepper, and dill weed oil. Another oil. This got two types of oil. So if you guys haven't seen my um the fish video that I did, the oysters and the um, anchovies, I have oil everywhere. Um, so, and it just says keep in pantry, ready to serve, consume within three days after opening. Alright, so, this actually expires March 2024. So, let's get into it. Oh, it's a pull tab. I love when the pull tabs are on there, of course, when they break. Then you have to get out your trusty old can opener. Okay, so I got my, my son's alcohol wipes. You should always wipe, wipe, wipe the top of the can. The soda cans, all that when you get it. That's what you should do, but I know a lot of people probably don't do it. Oh boy, here's where I be wanting to show y'all what the stuff look like when I open it. Then I can always get it messy. Oh. Oh. You guys, I got trigger finger, trigger thumb, whatever. My thumb is killing me. Alright, let me try to give you guys a overhead shot. There you go. That's better. That way I'm not spilling everything. Ooh, ooh that's a strong altar. I can't even describe it's the mint. That's what it is. It's a strong smell of mint. I feel like I would I don't know. Let me see. And they say it's best not to heat it up. I I guess, you know. I feel like I might well like this warm, but
I'm conflicted. Tastes kind of like pickly. You can just taste that brine. Um, reminds you of a cabbage or a spinach. Not bad, but um. Interesting. I do love trying interesting different things. You get tired of eating the same old things over and over again. Another close up for you guys. Very pickly, like I said, but that mint. Probably would taste great with the rice, meat, or rice, and seafood. Mm. Real interesting, my y'all. Alright, so again. Let me know down in the comments if you ever tried grape leaves with the stuffing in it or without the stuffing in it. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you to the day ones also. I appreciate y'all coming by, listening to me, trying out these new interesting foods. Um... Mm. I'm trying. It tastes like something else, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out. But. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. See y'all next time. Bye.